So to put Chairman of the Board, Bruce Hernandez. Thank you, Ray, and, and good evening, everyone. Um, this is my first Pathways Conference. Uh, I'll get on my speech in a second, but I need to really echo what, what, what Ray said and, and what we've seen here. It, truly inspirational. I mean, I sat there and I commented to, to Randy and David from Microsoft. I mean, you got tingles um, to see that group of students up there, what they've accomplished, what they've worked for, and importantly, you know, really probably looking at a lot of the future leaders uh, of the respective great countries. So uh, my, hat's, my hat goes off to them. Um, thank you for allowing me to speak directly with you tonight on a topic that I'm most passionate about uh, and as passionate as you about, and that's CertiPort. It's an absolute pleasure for me to be involved with this company, its partners, and what we all stand for as business partners and as thought leaders. As a partner in a private equity investment group, I've heard many good business ideas, I've seen many bad business plans, and I've invested in some of both. Um, I've also been around long enough to have been through numerous corporate shifts and ups and downs in the stock market, and although it may not appear in this suit, I have the scars to prove it. As an investor in radio stations, cable television companies, motorsports marketing companies, and of all things, professional bull riding, I must say the concept of technology skills certification as one of Spire Capital's next growth companies was just a little foreign to my partners and me when we first heard about CertiPort. However, we were particularly aware of the Microsoft and Adobe brands and were intrigued by the growing demand for digital literacy and the promise of the IC3 standard and products as well. On a side, speaking of Microsoft and David, if you in the audience haven't yet switched your computer's default search engine to Microsoft's new Bing.com from that other search engine, whose name will go unmentioned, you're definitely missing something. I encourage you to try it. Well, anyway, we were amazed at Spire that a substantially growing American company based in American Fork, Utah, with such strong ties to two of the most successful software industry companies in the world, could spend almost 10 years under the radar screen and have such a global market presence. We discovered a truly great secret at the foot of the Wasatch Mountains that was both inspiring and had great growth prospects, and is pretty close to some great skiing as an added bonus. Given this unique and exciting discovery, Spire Capital committed to invest in CertiPort in November 2007 to help accelerate its growth and expand its business worldwide. We did this just prior to the time when the world began quickly moving toward a global economic contraction. Shortly before, 128 Fortune 500 companies posted a total of $519 billion in cumulative losses, shortly before 11 of the 25 largest corporate lo losses in Fortune 500 history, and soon before consumers, organizations around the world stopped spending money on anything that was not critical to their survival. They say timing is everything, right? Well, we didn't get this timing right. We were sure then, and remain very sure now, that our decision was quite smart. We know that education and certification programs typically show strength in even difficult economic times, as individuals who are unemployed or concerned about their job security will elect to spend their money on training and certification to ensure they are or remain employable. Evidence of this can be found within the four walls of CertiPort, where from June of last year until June of this year, CertiPort grew its overall exam volumes by over 20%. This growth has come with the support of our partners at Microsoft and Adobe, as well as our global distribution partners, many of them whom are, are here in Toronto. This growth will only accelerate with the upcoming delivery of new releases from Microsoft, Adobe, and our own IC3 digital literacy platform, not to mention the upcoming release of our first exam with our partners at ETS. With respect to our partners, I hope you have felt the energy and renewed focus that CertiPort has placed on all its partners since Ray Kelly joined the organization literally 100 days ago as CertiPort CEO. Congratulations on your 100th day, Ray. You've lasted that far. <laughs> the truth is, we had become somewhat complacent and frankly, frankly, had not been providing all our partners with the focus, resource, and tools that they needed to succeed in the marketplace. CertiPort had become too inwardly focused, and that, my friends, changed the day that Ray walked in the door. Ray's vision, which we will share with you later on in the program, is distinctly focused outward on our collaborative efforts with all of you. A new beginning for CertiPort is upon us, and you, our partners, are at the center of our growth and our future. We will be successful together, 
and grow our collective business and at, at the same time be inspiring and preparing students, workers, and officials across the globe to succeed in tomorrow's technologically advanced society. Thank you for giving me this brief opportunity to speak with you tonight. I look forward to meeting with each of you later this evening in the coming uh, months. Good night and good fortune to all of us. Thank you.